So you've heard this iconic T-Rex roar, but did dinosaurs really sound like that? T-Rex says this ferocious predator that roared. But was that roar actually accurate? Let's check out this clip from Jurassic Park again. So here's the T-Rex roaring in the Jurassic Park movie. Now let's cut to a 3D model of a T-Rex and let it open its mouth. Now with a totally different sound. That's right, a totally different sound. Croak? Yeah, definitely not a roar. But how do we know what dinosaurs really sounded like? We can look at their relatives today, their living relatives like crocodiles and birds. When paleontologists study fossils, they don't just look at bones. If they find evidence of vocal cords or air sacs, can compare them to animals alive today to figure out how the dinosaur might have sounded. First, let's take a look at the structure of a lion's vocal cords. As you can see, these are the structures that make a lion's iconic roar. These vocal cords are attached to the hyoid apparatus. Take a look at a 3D model of a T-Rex and highlight its air sacs. These air sacs were likely connected to the T-Rex's lungs, but they were also connected to the T-Rex's vocal cords. It's thought that the Tyrex could control the air in these sacs to produce sounds. And because of their size, it's likely that they produced very low frequency sounds, maybe even subsonic sounds that we can't hear. Paleontologists think that the T-Rex didn't roar like a lion or even a tiger. They made low frequency rumbles or hisses like crocodiles. This herbivorous dinosaur had a long neck and a crest that extended over its head. Now, let's animate that crest filling with air and making a sound like a trumpet. So the Parasaurolophus likely used its crest as a resonating chamber to amplify its sound. Because the crest was hollow, it likely created a sound like a trumpet blast. Now remember that iconic T-Rex roar from Jurassic Park. Well, it turns out that dinosaurs didn't actually sound like that. The T-Rex likely sounded more like a crocodile than a lion. Don't worry, the T-Rex still sounds pretty scary. Just imagine hearing a loud hiss or rumble coming through the trees as you walk through the jungle. It's definitely scary enough for me. Speaking of scary, did you know that T-Rex's rumble could travel for miles? But don't worry, you re safe today because T Rex has only lived in what is now the western side of North America between 68 to 66 million years ago.